Old Big Gate Kemper Arena. Boy, this kid is unbelievable. Look at this. McBride. McBride leads in and scores. Oh. In the history of the state of Ohio. These two guys have a lot in common. Uses a screen. Gets to the baseline. Off balance. He's got it. Culver, and, and he is very good at getting the other team. Tie it for West Virginia. McBride looking for the tie. Got it. Fell up. This looks Another like the first steal. Virginia of old. Waiting here from Potter. So McBride on the loose and the one hand. Trying to add to the three-point lead. And instead, Harmon has it knocked away. And that would count. Oh. And it goes. Where does the scoring come from West Virginia, Robbie? Well, they're going to go inside early. And with Miles McBride, it's almost like Gary Penny guard. And there's an interception by the former football player. Miles McBride takes it strong. He just knows how to play. Chris Mooney calls. He really is. And right now, there's not much defense being played out here in West Virginia. They found something with Miles downtown for Richmond they're now one of seven from three it's almost like these two teams switch Sherman through the passing lanes and you set your big fella up this looks Another like the steal. first Virginia of old most points they've scored in the first half in two years and there's been a struggle from the three-point line for Richmond to get it going here's McBride And here's a leak. Ends up with one off the heel from nice Sherman. Offensive of an athlete to be an outstanding NBA player, no question. But uh, what I love about him is he's going to be a great. Now the key for the Mountaineers is how do you get the ball to Culver? McBride with the left hand. At the rim by Kedrian Johnson. Back the other way comes Taz Sherman. He gives it up. McBride from the corner. It's a matchup zone. Someone's getting an open three. There it is from the corner. And it goes. Chance for the Mountaineers to extend their lead. Get the ball to Deuce or Culver. Uh-oh. McBride. Oh, feeling McBride to make a play here. Maybe Sherman on the down screen. Well, he's got it with five to shoot. McBride hunting his shot. Fades away. Got it. Basketball. He's likely to pass Bob Knight and go into fourth place by the end of the season. So there's no question. They skip one to the wing. And McCullough denied by Culver and taken back by Miles McBride with the left hand. He's able to finish. It Does West Virginia have a push in them? Down by 12, under eight to go. McBride knocks it down. Contested shots. And this kid makes tough shots. Doesn't matter who's guarding him. An answer is a rebound. Yep. And the stick back is there for T.J. Shannon. That was a 50-50 rebound, and T.J. Shannon wanted that ball more than three guys in gold jerseys. A uh, three. McClung for three. Short. And this time the rebound ends up with Deuce McBride. A three would tie it for West Virginia. McBride looking for the tie. Got yes, it. sir. McBride with 12 seconds to go. Go. Uses a screen. Gets to the baseline. Off balance. He's at the five. And so off that illegal screen, West Virginia ball again. You see the seven nothing run. And now, and a passer is going to have a very good Big 12 career at Kansas. Sean McNeil off to McBride at the top of the key and able to get it back. Be aggressive in attacking the paint, especially if you're going to play small ball. You've got to drive it, drive it. McCormick gets one to go. That's where the ball belongs for Kansas when McCormick's in the game. When he gets points easily, everything opens up for their offense. In field goal attempts because of the nine turnovers that Kansas is committing. West Virginia, if you've just joined us, is led by as many as 10. There's a whistle. Rescreen. Bridges resets to McBride. Six to shoot. McBride pulls it on a three. Easy opportunity at the rim for him. West Virginia got off to that 7-1 and one start. We're ranked seventh in the country in late December. Spiro Vitas, Bill Raftery, our producer, Mark Wolf, Bob Fishman, our director. What a pass. Rounded new heights so far this season. 
Matthews on a three, won't go. Offensive rebound. That's when you're going to Trent Johnson. And <laughs> the Huggins decided to sit him with two, two fouls the rest of that half, they, you know, largely in part because they're up six. They're on the block and trying to be physical with Culver, and, and he is very good at getting the other team in foul trouble. Nice good cut. backdoor cut and a basket. Well, again, it speaks to the depth and talent on this West Virginia team that they've been over to, able to overcome. Mm. Offensive rebound for McBride. He's going to shoot the mid-range jumper. Sooners have gone cold. And no second shots. <laughs> McBride trying to get past Harkless. Manic the help with the final shot of the half. Trying to add to the three-point lead. And instead, Harmon has it knocked away. And that would count. Oh! And it goes for McBride. And we're tied. Right back to Culver. Get him in a little closer this time from Gibson. So Gibson now one for three from beyond the arc so far today. There's a three. Good for McNeil. Now West Virginia looking for an answer. It's a three from McBride is good, and they do cave in the game. McBride leads in and scores, and they executed just about perfectly there, Chris, scoring with four. Great high school coaches in the history of the state of Ohio. These two guys have a lot in common, and he'll get the return from McBride. This is a big possession right here. McBride penetrates. Off the yes. Got off to a hot start, but I think they've lost their edge. Maybe it is fatigue. And McBride. Third foul. Drive, bounces his way in. Wow. Spinning. Out of trouble was Bridges. Now it's Deuce McBride. Hits a throw. To Culver. He's a foul magnet. Backdoor cut. And there's likely. Allowed the flyby. Bryce Williams gives it up. And likely. Sherman. That won't go. The back tap, though, keeps it alive. McBride at the elbow. Yes. You know, for what a group of young athletes. Deuce McBride with the left hand. It's to Deuce McBride. McBride, tough fade away. He knocks it down. Finally, Rod Thorne. He'll be in. Five to shoot. McBride off a shot fake. Knocks another one. Big gate, Kemper Arena. Boy, this kid is unbelievable. Look at this. McBride. Look there at it is him. again. Wow. Deuce McBride with three seconds to go. In the oh, my goodness. down. These shooters. McBride had 16 in the first half. Step back here. Make it 18. Trying to get some shots up just for trying to get efficiency in your offense. How about that for a pump with a couple of pump fakes and it rims out? Yeah, nice job of being able to create some offense. I didn't think he had nowhere to go. McBride from the elbow jump. Four players have scored there for West Virginia. Back to our lock, McBride! Bob Huggins, he was Clemson, Alabama, Ohio State kind of good as a high school quarterback. Gets it from his mom and dad. Dad played hoops at Xavier. McDeal again, another long two try. And right into the hands of McBride. And a triple try that time hits the front iron. That was a quick shot. Maybe too quick. There's McBride. He's so good. Nice little spark here to open up the half in the first four minutes. It's exactly what Moorhead State needed. From the free throw line, McBride. Talked about it at the beginning of this game. It's in favor right now of the Eagles. Only eight points scored by West Virginia. They need the season four and six with their record. Good defense by McBride. And the take takes the contact, and a deuce is. Palmer's got six of his eight points coming in the second half. McBride from up top. Here's the matchup. Culver with the spin move, missing everything. They leave McBride wide open, and he makes a pay. 
behind the back move got away here from Potter. So McBride on the loose and the one hand. But the resume bumped him up to being a three seed here in the NCAA tournament. McBride splitting the difference.